Aviation Academy hangar and all the aircraft are lined up over here. Why is this cockpit open? Yes. Huh? This is not open. Hi guys, a very good evening. It is currently 4.42 on a Monday evening and it's the 11th of January 2021. And I just hope all of you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, you know, the coming of the new aircrafts was very exciting for everybody at Chimes Aviation Academy. And uh, we as students, we are also very, I'm personally very excited to fly the Lycomings. But right now, as you can make it out, I am at the hangar and I'm sitting inside an aircraft. And guess what? This is the Victor Tango Charlie Alpha uniform aircraft whose takeoff you just saw. And with the permission of my instructors, I am sitting inside that particular aircraft. And primary reason behind this is, uh, the video is absolutely incomplete if I don't show you around the cockpit a little bit of the new Lycoming engine aircrafts. And uh, so let's get right into it. This is how the cockpit looks from a pilot's point of view. And uh, it is absolutely beautiful. Like I said, it is the Victor Tango Charlie Alpha uniform aircraft. And uh, in our uh, academy, all the aircrafts are installed uh, with the Garmin 1000. So here we have the PFD. This is called the PFD, the primary flight display. And uh, here we have the MFD, which is the multi-function display. And uh, yeah, that is how the cockpit looks. Previously, in most of my videos, I have talked about conventional cockpit and conventional aircrafts have uh, these kind of flight instruments, which are the steam gauge instruments, which are kind of installed here. First of all, the most important and the most basic difference that you will find as a pilot uh, between these Lycoming cockpits and the Thillard cockpit is the throttle. Now, in these Lycoming cockpits, we have something called a throttle control knob. 
so this goes in and that's how you open your throttle and that increases your engine power of course and it goes out to cut your power so this thing is called the mixture control knob this goes in in a pretty similar way like the throttle other than the fact that we have to press this and then put it inside this primarily controls the amount of fuel that reaches the engine and this controls the amount of air that reaches the engine so when we pull this out you basically you know stop the fuel flow to the engine and the engine stops very uh, important and striking difference between the two aircrafts Okay, so let me take you guys through this cockpit very quick. Here we have the standby battery switch, here we have the master switch which is uh, red in color and has two parts, the alternator switch and the main battery switch. And here we have the avionics switch which again has two parts, the avionics bus 1 and avionics bus 2. Uh, here we have all the electrical switches uh, which includes your beacon, navigation lights, all the all the different lights that's outside. Through these switches we can control the, you know, how much the brightness of the screens that we have over here. Here this is your control column like here a lot of you must already be knowing. Here we have the different circuit breakers. Another difference is over here because we have the ignition switch over here uh, which goes from off to right and left. These are your magnetos and then it goes to start and that is how you crank your engine and start the engine. But in case of a thriller aircraft, we don't have this. Uh, we have a push to start which I'll show you right now if I get a chance to go and sit over there uh, in one of the thriller aircrafts. Okay, now let me tell you something really cool. When you buy a new car and when you open that car, you know, you have that very significant smell and it's a, it's a very, uh, you know, sweet smell. That is exactly the kind of smell that the uh, that I'm getting from here. Uh, as soon as I opened the gate of this new aircraft, the new leather and everything, it's a very significant smell. Hai. Well, I think that was about it from my side in this particular video. Uh, I did not go too much into technicalities of the Lycoming engine, of the Lycoming cockpit and of the aircraft cockpit in general. Uh, but I just hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, do let me know in the comment section and also do let me know if you want uh, more of these technical information and technical videos then I will make more such videos and also uh, Thank you so much to my instructors who allowed me to be in this aircraft right now and shoot this video and uh, I mean I can stay here all day and just stare at the cockpit on that note. I think I am done I will just exit from this aircraft Externally, another major difference between the Thillert and the Lycoming engines is that we have three propellers in case of a Thillert engine, but in case of a Lycoming engine, we have this twin propeller blade system. Kinda looks cool, right? And look at that. How beautiful. I can get some really cinematic shots of that. <laughs>